Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe? Become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Today I want to talk about my new favorite bag. This is a backpack that I intend to use for travel, and it is from a brand that I think is just doing really great things, and this is not a sponsored video. I actually reached out to the brand asking if I could review this bag because I was just so blown away with not only their product and their customization options, but also the mission behind what they're doing. So today I'm talking about my Harper backpack from Better Life Bags. Okay, a little bit of backstory. Back in March, I was spending so much time online trying to find what I would consider the perfect backpack for travel, and I could not find anything. It would seem like I found something that was close to what I wanted, but it was missing a feature that I really, really thought was important, and I was just going crazy, because I was like, does the bag I want not exist? I don't get it. And then I found the brand Better Life Bags, which is a bag company that actually lets you customize your bags. You can choose everything from the appearance to the number of pockets inside and I was finally like yes this is exactly what I needed because I couldn't find an already made bag with everything that I wanted so I was able to create my dream travel backpack now here's a disclaimer these bags are not cheap and the more you customize them the more additional costs are added on but these are handmade in the USA made to order made from premium full grain leather they have solid brass hardware and they serve a great cause because the company aims to employ women who would typically have barriers to traditional employment and I'll talk a little bit more about that mission later on in this video but first let me talk a little bit more about my Harper bag and the customization process with Better Life bags because this is what I really think makes them unique and would probably be the main draw to purchase from them. So on the Better Life bags website, you choose the style of bag you want and they have a ton of different styles. They have backpacks, crossbodies, totes, and then you go through their builder to choose the color of leather that you want, the hardware, the inner and outer fabrics, inner and outer pockets, zipper closures, and even extra straps as well. And if you have an idea of something to add to your bag that's not already a customization, option then you can just email them or leave it in the notes of your order and they will work with you to make it happen so you can really make these bags your own you can have an all leather bag you can have leather on top and fabric on the main body or fabric pockets or two different color leathers but for my Harper I did go with a full leather bag because I wanted something super durable and I went with all black because I really like the clean look but inside I did choose a really fun print so we've still got a little bit of personal personality popping through. So let's talk a little bit about the Harper bag. This is their flagship backpack, one of their most popular styles. And there is actually a smaller version called the Finch, which is more of like maybe a backpack purse type size. But I chose the Harper because I knew I wanted to use this for travel. So the dimensions of this bag are 12 by 12 by, I believe, four and a half depth. But this is just a great everything bag. I've heard of people using this not only for travel, but for school or for work, as well as as a diaper bag. So the Harper design, this has a flap closure as well as a zipper closure. The flap closure secures itself with two strong magnets, which I really think is cool because then you don't have the snaps here. It's just a really clean look and they do hold pretty securely. I've never found the flap to just open on its own, but I really do like that there is a zipper closure underneath just for that added security. Now you can order your Harper with or without these outside pockets, but most of the people that I see who own the Harper both have and love the outside pockets. I think they're really handy for carrying water bottles with me, especially because I'm using this for travel, as well as other just smaller bits and bobs like chopsticks or pens. And on the back of the bag, there's a secret phone slip pocket. I love when backpacks have a um, pockets that face your back because you can put things in here such as your phone or even maybe um, some cash or whatever that you don't want easily accessible like no one's going to be able to really reach in here between your back and the backpack and run off without you noticing you know what I mean so that's a really nice touch and the pocket is roomy so for all of the more modern smartphones that are huge like my iPhone X it actually fits perfectly now inside the Harper backpack by default it's just gonna be one large main compartment but there are two pocket add-on options you can get these elastic slip pockets that go all the way down to the bottom they are huge and deep and expandable as well as a zipper pocket inside here which features the same 
hardware color that you choose for the outside. So mine is gold and I absolutely love the contrast. And I just like having all of the pocket options because I love having that extra organization. And another way you can customize the Harper is by adding a detachable crossbody. So that's another add-on fee. And what they do is they add these D-rings that wouldn't normally be here if you didn't order the crossbody and then you get the detachable strap. And I think just having the option is nice, especially if this is gonna be like your main bag while you travel. You know, if you go out to a restaurant, you might not wanna have the whole backpack vibe and you can wear it as more of a slouchy, oversized purse. But I personally have just been wearing this as a traditional backpack and I like having the D-rings because you can slip like a scarf through here or even just like attach your keys really quick if you're just, you know, running out. But it is really nice to have that option. Also on the outside of the bag, and this is standard actually, this comes on all of them, are these little snaps which can either expand or collapse the bag a little bit. So if it's not as full, you can close it and then it'll make the bag a little more narrow just for a less bulky look. But if you are packing it to the brim, then you can leave them unsnapped and get the full width of the bag. Okay, so I wanna show you everything that fits inside the Harper, what it looks like filled to the brim as if I were packing it as a carry-on, which is what I'm typically doing with this backpack now. So here's the Harper totally filled to the brim. This is as much as I would ever put in if I were going on like a long haul flight perhaps. As you can see, even though this is a really fully packed backpack, it doesn't look super bulky. The leather itself is pretty slouchy in the black color, so it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the bag and it will look a lot more slouchy if it is not as packed. All right, so in this first outer pocket, I have a pouch that has a sleep mask in it and then a bottled Advil, because I feel like those are important things to keep with you on hand on your flight and just, you know, easy to put in here, but it's not super important if they end up falling out. And then on the other side, I do have my refillable water bottle. So this is a 17 ounce steel bottle. This one's just from Walmart. So it does insulate and keep liquids cold and it doesn't sweat, which I think is important when you have a bag like this. So that's on the other side. And then of course in the back, I have my cell phone in the designated cell phone pocket. All right, so let's look inside. And I just also wanna point out that even though this bag is really full right now, the magnets still connect, like it's not having a hard time reaching the point where it needs to, to connect. All right, so here's how I would pack my Harper to really maximize space. So right on top, I have my travel pillow, which is inflatable, so it saves a lot of room. And then I just have a light hoodie to keep with me on the plane, just in case it gets cold. Then I have two pretty large cosmetic bags. This would be all of my makeup and then this is my liquids bag. Then I do have my iPad Pro. This is a 10 and a half inch, I wanna say. And then lastly, just in the main compartment, I have my sunglasses. So now in the pockets, I actually don't have them all the way full. There's definitely more room to spare, but you know, there's really not much I need other than this. So in one pocket, I keep most of my um, tech stuff. So I have my portable charger and then the charging cords in there. I have my Apple Watch charger and my Bluetooth headphones. And again, these pockets, the elastic ones go all the way down to the bottom. So you can definitely like stack things on top of each other, but then, you know, obviously it's a little harder to get stuff from the bottom out if you do wanna like fill it that full. And then in the other pocket, just to have these important things easy to find within the backpack, I have my wallet. I absolutely love this wallet, by the way. It's from Amazon. It has all of my rewards cards, so I never leave anything at home. And then I have my keys. Then we've got the zipper pocket, and again, I really could fit more stuff in the zipper pocket as well, but I mean, I'm not just gonna carry stuff for the sake of carrying it. Um, in this pocket, I have kind of smaller doodads. So I have a perfume roller ball, a pack of gum, and my chapstick. So there's a closer look of the bag while it's empty. There is a panel at the bottom, a flat panel. So that way, even when it's empty and slouchy, it can stand up by itself. So that's nice. And it just gives it a little bit more structure at the bottom so that things don't make it a weird shape. So here's a later out view of everything that fits inside.
So this is what the Harper looks like when it's full to the brim on my body. And just for reference, I am 5'4", and I am about 145 pounds right now, size eight. And even with it full, this is a pretty heavy bag right now, but it feels comfortable with both the straps. And this is a sturdy bag. It is made to last. Like I said, this bag is handmade here in the USA, and the quality is just amazing, but there is an option whether maybe you spill on your bag and you get a stain or for some reason you rip it by accident or if there was just a customization option that maybe you didn't choose at first and then you're like, oh, I wish I would have gotten that pocket. You can actually send the bag back in for a makeover and they'll quote you and it'll be a lot less than buying a whole new bag. So I think that's a really cool service so that way you can really extend the life of your bag if anything were to go wrong. So I absolutely love how my bag came Came out but I know that there are a lot of options on that site of all the customizations you know you can get fabric on the outside or mix the leathers get fabric pockets whatever so it can be super overwhelming but they do have a Facebook group of all the customers who absolutely love the brand and they're sharing their custom designs or they're asking for design ideas and they also share customizations that they've gotten that aren't like on the actual website so kind of secret menu items I guess you could say and it was that group where I actually discovered that if you order an all leather bag versus like having fabric on the outside or having fabric pockets, then you can get the fun prints inside because otherwise if you get a leather and fabric combination on the outside, then it's just going to be a solid on the inside. But you can even further customize the inside interior lining by like making the pockets a different fabric or the lining of the zipper pocket a different fabric. Like there's so many possibilities. So that Facebook group really helps for inspiration and just kind of discovering all of the options you can really do with these bags. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about the mission of Better Life Bags because this is what I think really makes the company special. It's what prompted me to want to introduce them to you and give them a shout out and support them. So the brand started with the founder, Rebecca. She had an Etsy shop making these bags and they got really popular because they're awesome bags. So as she was expanding, she needed to hire people to help her and she took the opportunity of creating her business to actually serve her under-resourced Detroit community and employ women in the area who would typically have barriers to traditional employment, whether that be cultural barriers or even language barriers. So they're able to make a living with a fair wage as well as have benefits like memberships to fitness gyms and also 0% interest loans for employees. So not only are you getting a gorgeous bag that is made to last, I mean, on that Facebook group of all the customers, there are people who have had their bags for five or six years and they still look amazing. But you're also helping support a small business, helping support employing women. So it's definitely an investment piece, but it's gonna last, it's ethical, and it's cute and customizable, totally unique to you. All right, everyone, so that is everything about my new Harper bag and the Better Life Bags brand. I really do hope that you check them out. You know, like I said, these bags aren't cheap, but there are a bunch of different styles at different price points. Now, these are custom orders, obviously. So they take about 17 days, I wanna say, to ship from when you order them. However, they do have a ready to ship section of bags that they already have made. So if you find one in that section that was kind of similar to what you would have designed anyway, you can get that one a lot faster. And like I said, the less you customize it, the less the bag kind of costs for most of the styles. So, you know, you can really try to find something within your price point. But again, this is an investment of something that is going to really serve you for a while. But even if you don't end up purchasing from them, please do give them a follow on Instagram because I just think they're doing a really, really cool thing. All right, everyone, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, become the newest member of the Slash Squad. If you've done that, high five, but have you hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live. My spring cleaning giveaway should be one of the next two videos, so definitely stay tuned for that, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!